it's funny, I always say that Alex is a six foot three, five year old with the testosterone and hormones of a 19 year old. He became more than the schools could handle when he was ending his fifth grade year. It's always been Alex and I. I've never really had a lot of help. I went to one group home setting for the actual tour. They were talking about putting five residents in there and then the each resident would have its staff member and then there would be a house member. And I'm, I'm just looking at this house going, you're gonna put 11 people in this house and there's no way that Alex would be successful in this. I just feel like it's going to be a constant overstimulation for him. It's just too many people in them. I worry because if something happens to me and they were to try to put him in a group home, I just, I feel like it would be terrible for him. I think talking about his future is always what gets me. One in 58 year olds is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder in the state of Maryland. One in 50. I have been working 20 years in the field of special education, specifically with individuals with autism, and now I'm also a mom of a child with autism. Through that, you meet some amazing people. And the idea for this particular project was born out of the relationship with Alex and his mom. Alex came to us and had been out of school for almost two and a half years. Nothing had been successful, not a residential placement, not a day program, not a school. And the look in her face when she met us was, you won't be able to do it either. Um, and I love a challenge. So when she acted like we couldn't do it, I was determined to do it. Meeting the needs of children with autism is hard. And it's hard when you are fighting every experience they've ever had before you. You're trying so desperately to find what works, except nobody's found it before. So there's not like it's a roadmap or there's something to help you. It's a little bit trial and error. It's a little bit about bringing in your expertise and your experiences. And it's a lot about working with the family. Um, we worked very closely with Alex's mom and our goal was to help him be successful in school. And he is, he's been with us for almost two years at this point. Um, and it's working, but it's working because everybody on that team is determined to make it work. And I bring that same tenacity to this project. Um, Alex's mom talked about how she believes that he does need to grow in independence and grow in his ability to live, not only with her, but also in the community and hold a job and be as independent as he is able to be. He is extremely social and he is lovable and he is kind, but so far, the right living circumstances have not been identified. And when she talked to us about that, she talked about that there wasn't a place that seemed right for him. He needs his own space. He needs a big enough space that he can have room to decompress and to find ways to gain his balance or his equilibrium. She also talked about the need for people his own age. He so desperately wants to connect with people, and yet finding that connection is very difficult. I guess I felt like we had been successful at creating the school environment for him and we were going to create a residential environment for him as well. But when we looked at what that would take and the pieces that would need to be there to be successful, it was more than what the funds allot themselves for. We wanted to bring in speech and language pathology, occupational therapy, um, clinical, social skills groups, all these things that these individuals receive on a daily basis in school go away when a child is 21. So at age 21 they just they fall away. Our system is built on front-loading services yet autism is a lifelong disorder. It's not going anywhere. It's never gonna stop. So this old idea that at age 21 you can just take everything away doesn't work and these individuals fall apart. And yet the funding isn't there to build the model the way that we know is successful. So that began a personal commitment um, and a, a very personal journey to build a program for individuals with autism and align the services, the program, the environment to the very things that they need. My hope for Alex as his mother, I guess, you know, his future, what I would like to see is him in a home 
with maybe one other person that he could hang out with and play with and kind of have a friend. And then he wants a job. He would love to have a job. He's talked about it for years now. He wants to, I think he would be a good greeter somewhere. He's so social. I want to see him successful. I want to see him somewhere that I don't have to continue to worry about what happens to him when I'm gone. I would like to know that he will be taken care of and in a place that is going to work with him and do what's best for him and will help him with his future. I need some place that is going to individualize his needs for him. I believe that the dream or the vision that, that was born out of this conversation with Alex's mom is going to prove to be an amazing program. But we need help and we need to find people who believe in this as much as I believe in this. And if you get a chance to meet Alex, you'll believe in it too.